Really? One of the best things about the divorce was finally getting to sell that thing. Tomorrow, hey. Oh, hey, John. Do you know where Sergeant Gray's office is? I sure do. The big glass one right there. Oh, thank you. See ya. Hey, ready for our interview? I am so sorry. I, something came up. Is there any way we can reschedule to next week? Uh, my criminal sociology paper's due on Friday. But it's fine. I'm sure whatever you're doing is way more important. Remind me what this paper's about again. Um, how aging affects perspectives of cops throughout their career. And Lucy told me you'd be the perfect candidate because you're an old... I'm sorry. Uh, I mean veteran officer. Follow me. Smitty. This is tomorrow. She'll be shadowing you. You look a ride along? No, not that. You are not to step foot outside this station with her. Just show her around. Answer her questions. Sure thing, boss. There's nothing I don't know about policing. Ask me anything. You spelled magnet wrong. So, you've been on the force for 30 years. What's been the biggest challenge as you've gotten older? Change in technology? Procedure? Yes. Hey, you ever heard of Clip Talk? I'm trying to upload a meme. You can't be serious. This is how you want to beat your opponent? Hell yeah. Help me go viral and I'll buy you a candy bar. Smitty walk all over you? I'm not letting Smitty... Yes, you are. I've been here watching Smitty talk smack about you to the other officers. It's obscene. Please tell me you're planning on heading back. Okay, I agree. It's not great. But Smitty has chosen his path, and I'm not going to get anywhere if I resort to the same tricks he does. But you're still not going to get anywhere if you let this happen either. You could lose. I think negativity turns off voters. I'm going to run a clean campaign, and apologies... I do have a call scheduled with my son. Can we pick this up later? Sure. Thank you. Don't tell me you have more interview questions. Just one. You want to go viral? I'll help you make the video. What's your clip talk password? Hey. We will keep heightened security precautions in place for Detective Lopez and her family until a brill is caught. Lucky me. What are you doing here? Making things right. So, all right. Good work today, everyone. For those of you 20 hours into a 12-hour shift, go home. You've earned the rest. So, what do you want this video to be? Something embarrassing for Nolan. I can't beat the guy on the issues. He actually has a platform. I didn't know he needed one. I got to play dirty to beat him. I can't beat the guy on the issues. I got to play dirty to beat him. I That's not me. said she wasn't recording. There's no expectations of privacy here. A good I cop should go there. I can't beat the guy on the issues. Morning. Um, what were you doing up all night? Legal research. Researching what? Do you remember that uh, kid I was telling you about, Tyler? Oh, the one who robbed a liquor store and yes. then gave the store owner a heart attack. And the clown from the DA's office blamed you for it? No, I don't remember that. <laughs> anyway, good news. Um, the store owner was released from the hospital. She's going to be fine. Amazing. I bet Tyler's relieved. Yeah, but he's not out of the woods yet. I have been up all night trying to research ways that the state can show him leniency. I've just got to convince that clown to charge him as a minor. Well, Tyler's lucky he has you looking out for him. Oh. I knew I was. Oh. <laughs> I mean, not that long ago I was on the streets as desperate as he was. And then I did the smartest thing I think I've ever done. Steal your car. Okay. Agree to disagree. No, seriously. Crime totally pays. And Tyler's lucky to have you. You're cute. This is... Sounds like you got it handled. What do you need a sergeant for? I don't. I need Lucy. Do you know her? No. Why? Your roommate does. I care about. 
I know what to do as a cop, and I know how to do it as a roommate, but, you know, those are different approaches. Just be a friend. And if you need a cop, tag me in. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Come in. Forget something? No. They found a body this morning. It was your friend, Becca. What? No. I'm sorry. No, no, no. No, it, it can't be her. It wasn't Becca. I'll call her. I'm sorry. It definitely was her. There was a photo of the two of you on her phone. Did Becca ever mention someone she was scared of? No. But we haven't talked in a while. Almost three months. With school and moving in here, I just lost track. Any idea where she was crashing? She mostly lived on the street. There was a shelter that sometimes had room. And a couple of kids who had families who let you sleep on the floor every once in a while. And if you were desperate enough, there was always swiping. What's that? You go on clip talk and just swipe until you find someone to hook up with. And if you're lucky, you might get a warm shower and a meal when it's all over. Okay, if she was still doing that, we need a list of the guys she met up with. I'll reach out to the tech department and see if they can get into her account. No, I bet I can guess her password. I could talk to about you all the time. Really? She was always wondering what you were up to. She was so proud. It was kind of annoying, actually. I was like, damn, why are you so upset with tomorrow? Stop. <laughs> but for real, world problem. I should have stayed in better touch. I'm sorry. from one one right before she died. So if we can trace her back there, we might be able to find out what happened to her. Do you have any idea what Becca would have done with a stolen watch? Tomorrow, hey, uh, it's okay. There's no judgment here. Um, there's a pawn shop we used to go to. Harvey's. It's just two blocks. Okay, yeah, we'll check it out. Are you okay here? Serial number matches. Buckman's here. No. I bought this off Declan. Is that tomorrow's friend? said that she was going to punt it in the morning and use the cash to go back to school. I feel like you, she said. Believe that? She was going to leave me too. So she went to sleep and I tried to sneak the watch out, but she woke up and she totally freaked on me. So I, I pushed her and, and she hit her head and there was so much blood. It, it was an accident. I swear that I didn't. Declan, show us your hands right now. Turn around. Interlace your fingers behind your head. 7 out of 100. Show us code 4. Suspect in custody.
Thank you. For everything. For all your help. For this bed. For getting justice, Rebecca. You did that. And thanks for helping me leave it all behind. Because if it weren't for you, I probably would have ended up like Becca eventually. Hmm? You don't have to worry about that anymore. You're safe. Do you want to talk about what you went through when you were living on the street? Uh, not now. That's okay. Yeah, you don't have to talk about it now. You don't have to talk about it with me. But at some point, you might want to talk to someone before it sneaks up on you. Close, please.